Welcome to my channel. If you like my videos, then kindly subscribe, like, and watch. Thank you. Welcome back. Problem six dash two. So the statement of problem is draw the shear force and moment diagram for the shaft. The bearing at A and D exert only vertical reaction on the shaft. The loading is applied to pulleys at B and B, C and E. So you can see this is a shaft with a pulley at point B, C and E. The reaction due to these bearings at point A and D is vertical. So you have to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram. So first step is that from we will draw the free body diagram and we will find the reaction forces at point A and D. So if I show the vertical forces due to this bearing A is R A and the reaction force at point D is A here R D. There I will choose another color so that it is visible. Okay. So first we will apply the equilibrium condition that sum of all moment about any point are there point D or point A that is equal to 0. So I am taking moment about point T is, D is equal to 0 and taking the counterclockwise moment as positive. So moment at point D due to the first force which is RA is equal to RA into perpendicular distance is 14 plus 20 plus 15 which is equal to 49 and it is producing counterclockwise uh, moment so that will be negative. The second moment is due to this force which is producing a counterclockwise so it will be 80 and perpendicular distance is 20 plus 15 which is equal to 35. The third moment is due to this force and it is also producing counterclockwise so 110 into 15 and the fourth moment due to this force about point D is 35 into 12. And it is producing clockwise moment that is why it is negative their sum must be equal to zero so when you solve this you will get r a is equal to 82.24 pound now it's very easy you can apply another equilibrium condition that sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to zero and taking upward moment uh, force is positive so Therefore, Ra which is 82.24 plus minus 80 minus 110 plus Rd minus 35, their sum must be equal to 0. So, when you solve it, you will get Rd is equal to 143 pounds. Now you have all the forces you can draw the shear force and after shear force you can draw the bending moment. So RA is equal to 82.24 and RD is equal to 143 pound. So we will draw the shear force diagram. So for that I have done some work earlier so that to save some time. So we will draw the shear force diagram over here and bending moment diagram over here. And every box is of 2 inch. So from here to here, this, there are 7 boxes, so it is 14 inch. This distance from B to C is 20 inch. From C to D it is 15 inch. And from D to E is 12 inch. Clear? And every vertical box for shear force is of 20 pound. 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is 80. Similarly here, the distance is same but every box here is of 100 pound into inch so 1 2 3 4 5 6 so 6 uh, sorry 200 every box is of 200 i will write it so 6 box so 1200 pound into inch so first we will draw the shear force diagram so what we will do is that uh, for shear force you can see here RA is 82.24 so first value is 82.24 so this is 80 so it will start from somewhere this will be our first point I will first draw the points and then we will move toward drawing this now from A to B from A to B this force is the same so from A to point B this force is same but at point B we have plus 80 
uh, minus 80 which is downward so this is 82.2 minus 80 will to, will give you some value which is 2.24 the second point will be this one this is first point this will be second point and from two uh, from b to c this value will remain same but at c point we have minus 110 this is plus 2.24 minus 110 will give you 108 so 108 will be somewhere here so this will be our another point and from c to d this remains constant from c to d this will remain d is this point this will remain the same list there but you can see at d point we have a vertical force which is 143 so this is minus 108 this point and plus 143 which will give you 35 so this is 20 this is 40 so 35 will be somewhere 20 40 so 35 will be somewhere there there and again from c to d to e this will be minus 35 so at point e this will go straight and it will be zero so let join this point so from first we have not this point if i zoom it so the first point is this one i will move it a little bit upward so it is creating problems so we will try it to join it by hand here so the first point is it, it will be a horizontal line this point is 0.1 and it is 82.24 clear so from this point this will go downward to this point and this point is plus 2.24 there now from this point it will be a straight line till point C and from point C it will go downward and it will be the vertical line now from this point from C to D it will be a horizontal line and from this point to point D this will be a vertical line okay so from D to E it will be horizontal line and it will come down zero so this will be your shear force diagram once you have shear force diagram it will be very easy for you to draw the shear force uh, bending moment now you can see uh, from point from point A to B the area under the shear force diagram will give you the bending moment so its area is this value this length is 82.2 or and this 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 height is 82.2 or and its length is 14 and it is rectangular so area will be 82.2 or multiply by 14 inch which will give you 1 1 this area this area will give you this area will be equal to 1 1 5 1 clear so you have to draw 1151 at point B so this is 200 this is 1000 this is 1200 so 115 will be somewhat somewhere here so I will draw a point since this is positive value so we will draw a uh, and also you can see this line is a zero degree line so bending moment will be one degree higher so it will be first degree line so from point this a this is point a so from point a to point b it will be a straight line there now the second area from b to c is this one and this will be the this area will be equal to 2.24 multiply by 20 i will write it this is 1151 this point there so this area 20 into 2.24 will give you some value and that value will be 
I will calculate it and I will show you this value is uh, 2.24 multiply by 20 and that is 44.8 so this is plus 1151 plus 42.8 will give you 1196 1196 so because why we have added this, this is plus value and plus 44.4 here is also plus clear so it will be 1195 so 1195 will be somewhat near to 1200 so it will be at point c it will be somewhere like this so again this will be also a straight line from point b to c clear so this point is 1196 now at this point this is 1196 but from C to D the area under the shear force is this one and this one is can be find the area can be find by multiplying 108 with this 15 inch. So 108 into 15 will give you minus 16 this area I will write this area is equal to minus 1620 because this is minus 108 now we have plus 1196 and we have area this minus 1620 so when you solve it it will be minus 420 so minus 420 will locate minus 420 minus 420 is this is 200 400 minus 240 so it will be somewhere here so this is minus 420 this point so since it, this is minus 40 the slope will decrease so we will draw a first degree line joining from point c to d this line should be vertical uh, straight line from point c to d but here i am using this pointer so again it will be not a correct one or if i try to draw it by using this line so I hope it should straight line okay now that's good so this is minus 40 now the third area which is this one and this area is this point is 35 this was 35 distance uh, sorry force pound so 35 into 2012 is again 420 so at this point it will be my this is minus 420 and this is plus 420 it will be zero so we will get a straight line so this will be our this will be zero and this will be our bending moment diagram so you, i will repeat here the shear force at this point was 82.24 and from a to b it was the same clear but here at point b we have minus 80 so 82.24 minus 80 will be 2.24 now from b to c the shear force will remain same but at c point there is minus uh, 110 force pound force so 2.24 minus or 2 minus 110 will give you this minus 108 this is minus 108 clear okay now from point c to d the shear force will remain same but at point d this is point d at point d there is a 143 pound force upwards so minus 108 plus 143 will give you 35 now from d to e this shear force is again 35 but at point e there is minus 35 so it will go down to zero so this will be your shear force now from shear force we will draw the bending moment diagram so the first from point a to b the shear for area under the shear force diagram will give you the bending moment so this is rectangular so its area will be 82.24 multiplied by 14 which will be 1151 since this shear force is a straight line of zero degree constant line of zero degree so shear uh, bending moment will be one degree higher so it will be a 
uh, straight line of degree 1. So 1, 1, 5, 1 is at point B and we have joined them by using a straight line. Now at point B, a, B the shear force is 2 or from B to C the sh uh, sh area under the shear force diagram will give you the bending moment. So this area is 44.8. So again, it is positive values. So 115, 1151 plus 44.8 is 1196. So at point C, the bending moment is 1196. So I have plotted this. Again, this line is zero degree line or constant slope. So the bending moment will be one degree higher. So from B to C, it will be a straight line with first degree here. Now at point C, the bending moment is 1196. From C to D, this area under the shear force will give you the bending moment. So this area is 11 minus 1620. And here this is at point C, the uh, bending moment is 1196. So 1196 minus 1620 will give you minus 420. So at point D, we have bending moment is minus 420. So from C to D, I have joined them by using a straight line because the area or the, uh, the line, shear force line between point C D is zero degree clear. So the bending moment will be one degree higher and it will be equation line of, equation of line of having one degree clear. So it will be this. Now at point D, it is minus 420 and area under this diagram will give you the area will be equal to plus 420. So here minus 420 and this area is plus 420 which will give you zero at this point. So I have joined them and but in this way we have we can draw the shear force diagram. Again I will mention over here that if you have a clear idea you can draw it on the paper very quickly. I am facing certain problem while sol solving over here. Uh, because uh, the visibility of this pointer is not clear at this moment but I have tried my best to draw it accurately. I hope you have enjoyed and learned from this video. Thank you for watching.